Hello everybody and welcome back to New Riador. Last time we have been going over to the Ocean Monument, if you remember in the last episode, with Skid and that was a pretty awesome experience to, to go over there with him and uh, take care of the temple because I haven't done this in ages. And so that was a lot of fun, it was a great episode, we were collecting materials for the town hall, that was the whole purpose of that. And right now in this moment, no not in this moment, but yesterday, we started constructing the town hall. And I have to say, it is awesome, it's coming along so great, I like that a lot. It's right over there in that direction, but I would try to not look at it, because I was thinking about doing a separate video for the town hall, I need your opinion on that. Because um, for the town hall build, we um, have been recording in all kinds of different angles with camera perspectives. And I was wondering if you would like to see an episode which mostly consists out of time lapses. And in between I will explain a few steps what we are doing. But mostly just time lapses. If that's something that you would like to see and then maybe a little bit longer even. Because it's a lot of footage that I've recorded already. Just from, yeah, I, I'd say we are a little bit more than half done with the town hall and that was yesterday playing for five hours with about 10 to 15 people always i'd say about 10 people always helping at the town hall it's so great and we've got the very nice people that uh, participated in the contest and we decided that they might be able to help us design a great town and i think yeah brad is even online right now he's uh, one of the people that is helping us and they can roam around on the server now for the next couple of days and look at stuff and uh, maybe help us with some other little bits and pieces and I think that that's pretty cool that they now have the possibility to play here a little bit without like doing any major recording or anything like that. But just having them around, they are all really, really nice people. And because of that, let's quickly do something here. I've got two signs because I quickly want to put down their names right here. For the town hall, we have got uh, Chrysia. Then we've got WASD24, we got Alchemist, um, we of course got Brett, I think with three times the A. We've got, um, who am I missing now? Uh, Chrissy W. Salodri, of course. Uh, and then there is also Henny, who couldn't participate yesterday, sadly, because there was other things that he had to do, but uh, he also designed the tunnel with us, and it's just coming along amazing. I, I can't say that often enough but uh, yeah because of all that recording of the time lapse and such i am quite uh, out of time for today's episode but i still have so many things that i want to do so i thought that i would go over and do some mining because as you can see oh hey brad let's give him a little high five <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, he's returning the favor. Um, I was thinking we, we could go and uh, go cave in a little bit, because if you have a look here in the ore chest, almost out of diamonds, and especially almost out of iron, that's the real issue. So I've got myself a new Fortune 3 pickaxe, which I will now take and go over in that direction, because in that direction uh, I went with Blaze the other day, because for the town hall build we had to get lots and lots of bookshelves. So we thought, hey, before we craft this now, it would take us ages, we could just go over and find a stronghold, not for the portal, but for the library. So we did that, and we found a library, which is actually not too far from here, and that's where I will go now to find some caves. Here we are in the portal room, the staircase just goes up to the top. I was kind of underestimating how far this is from our spawn area, but um, yeah, here it is, the portal, it's still unlit of course. We might do that soon, maybe. I, I will talk to the others if we kind of want to, to go into the end soon, but uh, yeah, we just found the stronghold because we wanted to get the libraries, which I think are right here. Yeah, look at the libraries, all taken apart. and. I would like to find some caves now again because I know that there was a horrible cave system. Ooh, stuff in a chest. A uh, horrible cave system that I really didn't like, but for the purpose of uh, going to cave, this would be kind of perfect. So I will run around and see if I can find that. And then uh, just have a few topics uh, that I would like to mention. Uh, some of th those uh, you might have been waiting for already. Um, and uh, some might be a little bit unexpected, but yeah, let me just find a cave. I think I was running in a circle here. 
Wow, how did that happen? I think I found what I was looking for. There's a mineshaft crossing this uh, stronghold, which might be a little deadly, but I think this is the perfect place for me now to find some resources. Uh, skeleton right there. So the first topic that I would like to mention is that uh, we have decided that we want to uh, reopen our application page on our website. It was closed now for quite a while since we went looking for new members. Ooh, power four, nice. Uh, we went looking for new members and so we decided we don't want to disappoint anybody and so we closed that down. But uh, now it's, we're kind of set on the server now and we thought, hey, it's maybe time to reopen it. We reopened it in a way that you might not expect. Oh, get away already. I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> it's a way that you might not uh, expect like this, but uh, we thought it's a good idea. All information about how to play and stuff like that, you can all find there on the homepage. Uh, just go there and then uh, there's a little tab. Can I join you, Riador? And, or can I join the server? And uh, then we've been writing down what would be the best way of uh, you reaching to us. So um, yeah, we, we I just wanted to mention that, that we decided that that is a possibility once more. And um, I'm looking forward to maybe have one or two new guys here on the server because now that we are kind of set it down here, uh, it might be cool to, to have some fresh people to the server uh, and now it's still a good point to join the server I think because we didn't do too much like the Ender Dragon fight hasn't been done and I think we will do that or leave that open for about two weeks and maybe for the Ender Dragon fight then if we might do that in two weeks uh, it's not up to me to decide that but uh, sounds kind of good to me um, we could get somebody um, new to the fight uh, that we just sent in at first without any weapons or armor and he needs to fight the dragon with his fist. That sounds good to me, right? So yeah, no, no, not really like this, but yeah, uh, reopen application. Ooh, you might be enjoying that news. And oh, God, let me quickly kill those skeletons and think about some more things. One more thing that I wanted to mention here is that if you know any YouTubers that you think might fit onto New Riador or that are looking for a server, then of course tell them that we are looking for somebody right now and maybe your favorite YouTuber will be playing on New Riador with us here soon. And I guess I quickly can grab those materials now. I think if it continues like this with all those mobs, I will never get around to uh, get my materials that I'm looking for, especially like iron and such. And also, I won't be able to focus on what I want to tell you guys. Uh, so I would try now to uh, be a little bit more focused on this and um, get my thoughts in order. So, there's a baby zombie again. I know this trap and there's a creeper. Um, yesterday, uh, that's the story that I wanted to tell you. I was uh, going to the nether because, oh, I don't know if you even saw that in the beginning. I've been continuing the walk of fame and putting more quads in. And for that, I, of course, had to get the quads. So uh, while I was going to the nether, I had to travel a little bit further uh, because there was no quads right at the portal, of course. That's all taken. Uh, we had to get a lot of quads for the town hall build. And uh, then once I was in the nether and got the quads, I unfortunately had to disconnect and due to this disconnect I forgot where I was. I was totally lost in the nether. All I had on me was a ton of good stuff and no obsidian, no ender chest and I was really struggling to find my way back. Uh, luckily um, Niels was around and uh, I asked him for help then. Uh, whoa, not good, not good, not good. Get away. Uh, I asked him for, for help because I was really thinking, hey, I, I need to, to uh, get back. Otherwise, I won't be help, able to help in the town hall build. And uh, then he was going in the direction I was going. No way. Oh, my God. How did it kill me? Yeah, we'll continue my story in a moment once I've got my stuff back. 
I hope I will get it back. Oh, look at this. Found it almost right away. Phew, that was a close one. So, what should I do? I should actually take those boots. And I need to throw some stuff away. Uh, but I think that I'm kind of set already. I think I've got everything that I need. That's all stuff that I don't need. And then I want to quickly find a secure place to sort my inventory out. Uh, secure, I said. Like this, I feel way better now that I can continue talking about the story. So, Niels was going to uh, the Nether then, and he was putting down some uh, torches in a straight line where I went. And I was then going back and forth, back and forth uh, to find uh, these torches because I didn't know. Um, if I'm in an old area, if I'm in a new area, there was always quartz around. The only thing that I noticed was that um, I was loading new chunks because lava was just updating. And so I knew then, hey, this uh, can't be the right area. I need to head back to the other direction. Um, because we don't have coordinates here on the server. As it seems, we've got two zombies there. I will just ignore them and mine this iron. Uh, and then I was trapped in the nether for about an hour, I would say. But I came back with a lot of quartz and I found, I think, three or four nether fortresses in this process. I wasn't looting them all because my inventory was full already. So I was just um, yeah, grabbing what I could and uh, then uh, left the other things for other people or maybe for a later point. Uh, so we can uh, get the saddles, gold armor and everything that was around there still then, if we want to do that at a later point. And, oh, I'm back here, interesting. Um, so I think I don't want to go back there because that was all dead ends. Um, I need to find a new way now to find new new caves. Uh, but yeah, that was the, the nether experience that I had and I was really thinking already I, I was lost and I would have, what I would have done if I was lost um, would have been that I would have uh, gotten myself into a nether fortress, uh, take a chest and uh, then put all my items in the chest, put it somewhere where I can really see like the surroundings, make a lot of screenshots of that and then um, bring the item or put my items into the chest, kill myself and try to find it at another day. Let's see, name tag. I don't think we need the rest, maybe the torches we could take. Let's just leave them there. Um, so yeah, that, that was quite an experience yesterday. I, I may, may have recorded it, but uh, since I was in TeamSpeak with others and I wasn't really feeling like recording because I wanted to record in the evening quite a lot, I wasn't doing that. I just wanted to get the quartz and uh, I still need more quartz. Believe it or not, I had eight stacks of quartz blocks, I think, and I still need more. So I will have to go back to the nether and grab myself some more quartz from there at a later point. Oh wow. Oh, it's a ravine. You know what's good if you've got lava down there, if you've got a water bucket on you, which I totally wanted to bring, but somehow I forgot to uh, grab myself some water. Let's quickly do that and then head down to diamond level and then I think that I want to cut into a little bit of a mining or a caving montage and uh, show you a little bit of the actual caving process without me dropping around while I'm trying to talk about some topics. So here we go. Let's, wow, that scared me. Uh, let's go down into the water as long as it's there. Awesome. So montage or music incoming.
diamonds. Finally, I was just out of torches and I would have to craft some new ones, but I think that this is now what I was looking for. Wow, great. Uh, let me just get some coal here so I can do some torches. I think that caving without um, yeah, the mine shaft is way easier. Like the real caving, the real caves are much easier to go through than a mine shaft is. In the mine shaft, it's easily to to get attacked, or harassed by any sorts of mobs. While in the just three diamonds, no, well, right, it's something. Uh, while in the uh, mine shaft, uh, it's such a big structure that zombies will just come from everywhere and harass you. So uh, I think I prefer this type of caving. It's more relaxing. I wasn't getting into trouble here. Um, I mean, there's like lots of lava lakes and such, but I think that's uh, kind of part of it. And the technique I was using here, as you may have seen already, is that I'm always uh, putting down a crafting table to craft my items into blocks and uh, throwing away the blocks that I don't need, like you now here this uh, end aside. Um, but yeah, I think uh, that I should slowly but surely head back to the surface. I will quickly get the rest of the items from this cave section here. I mean, yeah, it's a dead end over here. Let's quickly uh, empty out this cave. And as I say that, it continues, but it's a dead end as well. Okay, great. Um, and while I'm doing that, uh, let me tell you one more thing that I wanted to talk about today, uh, which is the future. The future especially of the channel because there will be some changes coming up uh, which you might not be happy to hear but for me it's a big step because I will start working for a company uh, from May 1st so uh, in May there will most likely be way less videos. I don't know how much time I will have still to play Minecraft and uh, especially do these Let's Plays because they always take up a lot of time, but it's also something that I really enjoy doing. So I don't know how it will be when I'm working. It might be that I will only have time and uh, motivation and everything uh, at the weekend. Uh, maybe throughout the week I can play sometimes, but I don't think that I will record as much as I am doing at the moment, because I won't just have the time for it. So, uh, yeah, that's something that um, I thought I, I want to tell you. I will be traveling quite a lot, uh, especially I have to go to work by train, which will always cost me like, I think about one hour to one and a half hour one way. So I will be kind of sitting in train for two to three hours a day, which uh, means that I can like easily reply to lots of YouTube comments. When I was doing an internship, I was doing that as well. I was um, in, in train in the train. I was always reading your comments and replying to more than I do at the moment because I, I just have the uh, time to, to reply to everything a bit. I'm reading still everything, don't worry about that. But if you're really bored, then <laughs> I, I write a lot of comments. And um, yeah, that will be coming up uh, then in May. And I think I will dig my way up here now and see where about I am. I know that I will head, uh, or I will have to head towards where the sun sets. Yeah, towards where the sun sets, and that's where I need to go to. So, uh, let's quickly have a look into the inventory, what I even got from this, because I haven't checked that out. I can't e even pick up this anymore. Let's get rid of cobble. So, it's uh, one, two, three, four stacks of um, iron, which is good. A little bit of gold, quite a lot of uh, lapis, coal, redstone. And uh, nothing too special, the three diamonds and the name tag. The issue is here that I've still got the, the armor parts in my inventory. I don't want to throw those away. Um, because I might need them at another point where I will die again. And then, then I, I want to grab my quick armor set. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the town hall thing. Do you want to see a longer video with lots of time lapses inside? I would be happy to do that because um, it's really cool footage, I think. As, at least the stuff that I saw so far and um, I think you would uh, like that as well but yeah let me know what you think about uh, time-lapse heavy episodes um, but 
I think at this point I can wrap things up already because now all there's left to do is make my way back into spawn town and uh, I can say now already that it was uh, great to record this today. Um, I was not expecting to do this because I was expecting that we would get further along with the town hall but since it's such a big project I think it will come out on Friday so if you enjoyed today's episode then of course let me know in the comment section feel free to leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next video until then have a great day